to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we're here at the Dr. Seuss Experience with my family, including Hamza, say hi. Hi. And together we're checking out this experience which is actually 25,000 square feet featuring a variety of different rooms from the stories itself. Now together we'll be seeing exactly what it's about and we actually even have Kat with us today, say hi. Hello, hello, how are you doing? We're doing great, how about yourself? Oh, I have one <laughs> Just like that, everything is immersive. So without further ado, let's check it out. guys, so I have Spencer here, the operation manager behind the Dr. Seuss experience, and he's going to talk a little bit more about how they set this up. Uh, so can you kind of give us a little breakdown on how long it took you to build this? Yeah, in total, this took a team of about 60 team members, about six weeks to make it all happen. We started off with a flat ground, nothing in here, brought it up in just over 40 days. Wow, and have you guys done this before? This is our third installation of the Dr. Seuss experience. So we've actually opened up in 2019 in Toronto, and we just came up from Houston where we spent the past summer, so this is installed number three. Wow, and I have to say, you guys have a lot of different like animatronics and a lot of different tech behind this stuff. Can you talk a little bit more in terms of what you have going on? Yeah, so we have nine different rooms displaying nine different stories and each room was actually developed and conceptualized by nine different fabrication teams. Oh, wow. We essentially gave the story out to various uh, fabrications all over the country and all over the world. And they came back with some great renderings and drawings of how they felt they could bring these stories to life. So some were very uh, skilled sculptors, some were more on that animatronic side, so we right. really leveraged their strengths and their talents, and they were the ones that made this all possible. Yeah, I think like one of our most favorite was uh, actually Cat over there. Oh yeah, Cat uh, in the Hat's a, a yeah. very popular choice. Yeah, and he, I guess he's like a puppeteer too. And... Exactly, to the uh, ill-informed, he almost seems like a uh, an automated service of sorts but they'll answer your questions but it's actually a full-on puppeteer that sees and hears everything going on wow in the so they have a camera and everything and yeah no thank you so much for your time it was absolutely a blast me and my family enjoyed it so much and thank you glad to get it came out all right guys so we're back from the experience and we're in our studio right now checking out this lovely care package sent by the dr seuss experience uh to see what exactly they sell now they have a gift shop on site in which they gave us a lot of the samples of what they carry to showcase to you so let's see what they gave us you ready yeah all right so first off i see we have a cat he's got a lot of different colors a lot of different textures and overall it is actually a fun friendly looking character and they actually gave us 
two, one for Hamza, and of course, one for me. <coughs> Actually, for Zen. Oh, moving on, we have ourselves gift wrapping paper. So this here is an official Grinch gift wrapping paper showcasing Max as well as the Grinch. Hats. Looks like we have ourselves a Thing 2 hat as well as a Thing 1 hat. Obviously, yeah! since he's Thing 1, this will be great on you. <laughs> uh, this will be for Zen. He's not here right now, but is actually overall a really cool product. All right, we have books. So this here is the All oh, the Places You'll Go book. Uh, obviously, the whole experience is kind of based off of this as well as among other books. But this here is a great book mainly because it's one of the last books that he wrote, Dr. Seuss. And you can see that it's actually a great experience and talks about life and makes a great memento for the experience itself. And it looks like they gave us another book. Check it out. We have ourselves the Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. And then we have bookmarks. Yeah. Cool. So these are great for the books. So we have one from ha Horton Here's a Who, You Are a Star, and Out of This World. Okay, we have ourselves a official Dr. Seuss Experience mug. So this here is a great souvenir. Ah, they gave us a baby Lorax. And they actually gave us two. We have some lovely looking pens. So we have some wacky looking pens and then a green eggs and ham pen too. Notebook. So this has the cat in the hat and then it has thing one and thing two as well. Next we have is the Grinch hat. A uh, great souvenir, kind of showcases the character of course. And then last but not least, we even have this lovely looking Grinch tote. Creates a nice memento. And with that said, back to the experience. All right, well, there you guys have it overall and an exciting experience. And I have to say, it's probably one of the best ones we've seen yet. Now, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Do you want me to, uh, to shout out for <laughs> Yes, please. Yes, to make sure to like, comment, subscribe to Conflicts. Whoa. <laughs>